Hello, this is Mariam. I'm here to teach you Modern Standard Arabic. This is a series of lessons about the Modern Standard Arabic for absolute beginners. So what is Arabic? Arabic is a central Semitic language, which comes from the Afro-Asiatic family. It's spoken by more than 300 million native speakers worldwide. It's closely related to Hebrew, the Neo-Aramic languages and South Semitic languages. Arabic is spoken in different dialects across the Arab world. The literary Arabic used in written documents, formal lectures, media, is the modern standard Arabic, which we're going to learn in this series. Arabic is derived from the language of the Quran, the holy book of Islam. Arabic is written with the abjad script, from right to left. The Arabic alphabet is composed of 28 letters. The Arabic writing is characterized by being connected together. This makes it viable for the acquisition of different geometric shapes. Therefore, there are different types of handwriting that have been introduced. These are two famous types of the Arabic calligraphy. The handwriting on the right is called an nasr the one on the left is called Ar-Riqah. I will read that for you. On the right, it's actually one sentence written in three lines. It is Al-Ilm, Nur, Al-Jahl, Walam. It means knowledge is light, ignorance is darkness. On the left, it is Qala al-Nabiyyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Ar-Rahimun yarhamuhum ar-Rahman Irhamu man fil ard yarhamukum man fil sama. It means, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, God, the merciful, has mercy on merciful people. Have mercy on those on earth, so that he who is in the sky may have mercy on you. Indeed, the Prophet of mercy was truthful. This is one of the Islamic sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Arabic influence is seen in Mediterranean languages, especially Spanish, Portuguese, and Greek. Arabic has borrowed some words from many languages, such as Hebrew, Persian, and Turkish. Here are a few words in other languages that come from an Arabic origin. English, alchemy, chemistry. French, alchemy. Spanish, alchemia. Portuguese, alchemia. German, Alchemy, Turkish, Alchemy, Simia. The original Arabic word is Alchemia, Alchemia. Another word, English, Algebra, French, Algebra, Spanish, Algebra, Portuguese, Algebra, German, Algebra, Turkish, Jibir. The original Arabic word is Al-Jabr, Al-Jabr. Another word, English, sugar. French, sucre. Spanish, azúcar. Portuguese, azúcar. German, sukar. Turkish, shakar. The original Arabic word is, azúcar, azúcar. Persian words used in Arabic, birwaz, means a rim or a frame. Ustad means a teacher. Here are a few Arabic words of Turkish origin. Marhaba is marhaba in Arabic. It means hello. Inkar is inkar in Arabic, which means denial. Tekrar is tikrar in Arabic, which means again in Turkish and repetition in Arabic. Ajil is Ajil in Arabic. It means immediate, rapid, instant, or prompt in Arabic, and emergency in Turkish. Tamam is Tamam 
in Arabic, which means okay or all right. There are four main parts. In part one, we're going to learn the letters of the alphabet. In part two, we're going to learn the four vowel sounds. In part three, we're going to learn how to write each letter according to its position in a word. In part four, we're going to learn first how to connect letters together to form a word. Second, the three long vowel letters. So let's start our first lesson. Part 1, the alphabet. The first letter in the Arabic alphabet is Alif. Alif. It's very simple in writing, just to draw a vertical line. We will know later that Alif is also of the first vowel letter. That thing above the Alif is called Hamza. Hamza. It represents the glottal stop during reading, like a, a. Hamza is written with other vowel letters too. It adds this sudden stop while reading the letter. We will discuss that later in detail. So Alif can be written with Hamza or without Hamza. With Hamza is a, a. Without Hamza is a, a. The second letter in the Arabic alphabet is ba, ba. In Arabic, we don't have the P letter, so it's always B, B, B. The third letter in the Arabic alphabet is Ta, Ta. It's similar to the letter B, but with two dots above. The fourth letter in the Arabic alphabet is Tha, Tha. It resembles the TH in English, like in three. It's written just like B and Ta, but with three dots above. So they form a group of three letters that are similar in writing and pronunciation. Since Arabic is written from the right side, so when I say the first letter in here, I'll be referring to the letter B. So this group of letters is composed of B, T, and Th. They are pronounced from the lips, tip of the tongue, and the upper teeth. Now we come to another group of similar letters. The first letter in this group is Jim. Jim. It's written as a horizontal line connected to a curved line with a dot in the middle. The second letter in this group is Ha. Ha. It's written just like Jim but without any dots. This letter is missing in the English phonetical system. So it may sound a bit strange at the very beginning. Its sound comes from the throat. The third and last letter in this group is Kha. Kha. This letter is pronounced like in the English word Loch or the Spanish word Naranja, which means orange. It's written like Jim and Ha, but with a dot above. Now the letters of the group all together. Jim, Ha, Kha. Jim, Ha, Kha. They're very similar in shape. Ha and Kha are very similar in pronunciation as well. The Ha sound comes from the throat. The Kha sound comes from the contact between the posterior of the tongue and the palate with vibration. So this group includes Jim, Ha, Kha. There is another third group of letters. As we read from right to left, so the first letter is DAL, DAL. The second one is ZAL, ZAL. They are written just like an acute angle. DAL has a dot above. DAL is just like D in English. DAL is just like the TH in the word THERE, ZAL. The other two letters of this group are RA, RA and zay, zay. They are written as a curved line, just like a banana. Zay has a dot above. So this group of letters includes dal, zal, ra, zay.
Then we come to another group of similar letters. Sin, sin, and chin, chin. They are written as a W connected to a big U that goes below the notebook line. Sheen has three dots above. They are pronounced like in the word sunshine. The other two letters of this group are sod, sod, and dod, dod. They are written as a drop of water resting on the notebook line connected to that big U again. Dod is with a dot above. Sod is like the letter seen or S but harder. Seen is soft. Sod is hard. Dod is like the letter dal or D but harder. Dal is soft. Dod is hard. The Arabic language was said to be the language of Dod. Maybe because of the fact that the Dod is very difficult to be pronounced. For non-Arabs and Arabs too. Its sound comes from the place between the sounds of the jim and sheen. So actually most of the Arabs now pronounce it as a hard dal and not as a real dod because the original dod is different from the hard dal. Only the ancient Arabs could pronounce it correctly. Now it's most commonly pronounced as a hard dal. Then we have ta, ta and va, va. They are written like that drop of water with a vertical line above it and connected to it. Va has a dot above it on the right side of the vertical line. Ta is like the letter ta or t but harder. Ta is soft. Ta is hard. Va is like the letter dal or in the word there but harder. Dal is soft. Va is hard. Now we come to another group of similar letters. They are Ain, Ain, and Ghain, Ghain. They are written as a small curve which is concave from the right side connected to a big curve underneath. Ghain has a dot above. The sound of Ain comes from the Adam's apple, A, A. The sound of Ghain is similar to the French letter R. Rain. Then we have fa, fa, and qaf, qaf. Fa is like f, it's always soft. The qaf sound comes from the soft part of the palate. Qa. Qaf is hard, while kaf is soft. Kaf is like k in English. The kaf sound comes from the hard palate. This Hamza of the calf does not play a role in pronunciation. It's just a part of the calf's shape. Here is lamb, lamb. It's just like L in English. Lamb in Arabic is usually soft, like la, la. Meme, meme, just like M in English. It's written as a circle connected to a horizontal line. Noon, noon, just like N in English. I guess the shapes of the letters are a bit familiar now. Noon is written as a curve with a concave side looking upwards and a dot on the top. Ha, ha, just like H in English. Its shape is a sort of a spiral line. Wow, wow, it's like W in English. But it's always soft. Wow. Wow. It looks like an E in the mirror. But its line extends below the notebook line. The last letter in the Arabic alphabet is Yeah. Yeah. Just like Y in English. But it's always soft. Let's memorize the alphabet. Alif Ba Ta Tha Jim Ha Ha 
دال ذال را زاي سين شين صاد ضاد طا ظا عين غين فا قاف كاف لام ميم نون ها واو يا الف با تا ثا جيم ح خا دال ذال را زاي سين شين صاد ض ط ظا عين غين ف ق ك ل ا